Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to share an oil analysis report on this 2016 Silverado diesel engine 6.6 .6 Duramax. Very interesting results. Actually, this report will show you four different samples. Yes, it's one after another person did. Actually, one of my subscribers to my channel who learned about the best more oil money can buy. He tried it first, second, third, fourth time, he loves it. Great results, and guess what? When you have an advanced, highly developed, powerful diesel engine, like a Duramax, you will be happy that you're using high quality synthetic oil. So, some details. I guess we'll start with the top. The oil is still good, so the question is, this is the oil. And actually, I won't be able to explain, there won't be enough minutes, actually, I don't want to make the video too long about this uh, signature series, Max Dury, diesel, motor oil. I'll post a link and you can read. You will be amazed the quality and how good this oil is. No wonder people who try, they never go back to anything else. So, some, uh, and of course, with the M-Soil full flow oil filter, 20 microns. Uh, here is the comments. I'm not gonna read. I'll let you guys read the comments on your own. I'll just basically zoom out and so on. So, main focus will be metal wares, wear metals. So, what did this oil generate? Well, as you can see, the first sample had 46, then 64, then 27, then 42. You're gonna think, why? Why is it numbers not consistent? Well, look at the nickel. Well, zero. Aluminum. Look at aluminum, very low numbers. Why do you have 11 there? You'll see find a copper are low numbers. Copper is actually your uh, bushings, you know what I mean? Usually these are the uh, turbo bushings and some other bushings that, that probably the gears are attached to. So that's the source of copper, very low numbers. And all other numbers you can actually read on your own pause it if you want the video and so what are why are these numbers are different there's a four different samples so this is the reason first sample was done at 9,000 miles on oil then 15,000 then 6,600 then 12,000 so that's the reason why why we have those different numbers these are excellent numbers you know what I mean for a diesel engine uh, because numbers will vary if these numbers were like doubled Let's say you have 5,000 miles, and then at 10,000 miles, you have like a two and a half times more wear in iron and other than, or maybe three times than it should be. Then it's the flag, then it's like, okay, you gotta stop using the oil. But when the numbers, let's say you have 5,000 miles, you have 20 parts per million iron. You put in 10,000 miles, you have 40 now parts per million. So it's normal, it's, it's, it's you know, mileage doubles, it doubles. So basically, it's like doing having two times oil changed. You know what I mean? You get the same PPM, wear metal number, either you're doing one oil or you're doing two oils. So these numbers are perfect numbers. You're not gonna find lower numbers on the Duramax. I searched online and I could not find anything lower than what you're seeing on the screen. So that's very interesting, you know what I mean? And some of my people say, oh, 15,000 miles, that's too much, that's an overkill. Well, if the oil is still good and protects the engine, it's not an overkill. Look at the aluminum, look at the iron, perfect numbers. It's not an overkill. I've seen some of the numbers about 100 with only 5,000 miles. So that's, that's, that's the red flag for me, you know what I mean? Or even like 40 ppm with only two, yeah, 2,000 miles with a 40 ppm. That's crazy. So there you go. You know what I mean? Look at these numbers and and compare to maybe you have done all NAS report 15,000 miles. No, it's not an overkill. It's not too much. If you do an analysis and you follow the report, you 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 can because the oil was still good at 15,000. You could, you could push it more because i seen the second uh actually it's one of the subscribers to my channel like i said 
he shared it with me you know what i mean that's why i'm sharing uh this report with you guys i asked for his permission he said that's fine and but i'm not showing his personal information or his any personal contacts you know what i mean it's to protect his privacy and then if you look at the uh, viscosity numbers are good base base still good you know what i mean it's but base and the wear metal numbers can vary and change based on idle time mileage conditions the vehicle is driven you know what i mean either you towing or you just highway driving so this number will vary and will change you know what i mean they're not gonna stay the same if you're towing or not by the way this is a stock diesel engine with all the emissions equipment on it this person was using his vehicle for towing when those reports were done uh some of the heavy stuff some of the lighter stuff but it's not just a you know high, only highway with no load so these numbers are very it has with load no load uh, i'm sure there's going to be some idling at the stops you know what i mean maybe warming up depending on how long people warm up their engines so there's the variations are different and it will vary and will have it on it will have the uh effect on wear metals and and so on and on the oil itself you know what i mean how long oil can last and if you look at the other you know what i mean aspects fuel dilution excellent numbers uh viscosity like i said base you know oxidation and there is some more detail so as you can see this oil protecting this duramax the best it's possible you, you're just not gonna find a lower numbers and for any diesel engine owners what their main goal or what they want to see the most out of their vehicles is trouble free because nobody wants to spend money on repairs they want to see their diesel engine their vehicle running 100,000 200 300 and keep in mind what i have found over years of research vehicles cars trucks whatever maybe motorcycle i haven't looked into motorcycles that have been maintained to the highest standards it doesn't have to be by the dealer even people themselves like me i maintain myself i have the receipts for everything people that maintain their vehicles with high mileage they're more valuable and more desirable than with a low mileage and zero maintenance records i'm going to repeat myself cars that have maintenance records are more desirable and easier to sell than cars that don't have maintenance records but lower mileage because people know that if the vehicle was maintained it's gonna last you know what i mean there there is trucks even duramax what 500 i think 700 i've seen mileage yeah recently actually with all the emissions equipment a duramax 500 uh thousand miles on it no repairs just a regular high quality maintenance you know someone can only get hundred thousand and keep replacing in the meantime to get 500 we'll get like a five trucks that's about three four hundred thousand depending on the you know what i mean the package of the truck and the options and someone could spend just you know eighty thousand and get five hundred thousand miles out of it so just just a good example just good example that to show you guys that maintenance is the key using cheaper stuff lower quality products change more often if you're not sure how often it should be changing ask in the comment section i'll give you my advice my recommendation because i would not benefit by giving you recommendation it just you know what i mean i would love to see people driving the vehicles for a long time saving the money putting those money in their pockets and doing with their money something else that they like to enjoy you know a hobby or maybe for towards retirement fund so that's pretty much it wraps up as you can see great results with ten solo signature series in a duramax and that's just something you're not gonna find on youtube very often people don't post this kind of information but if you came to my channel i have a lot of oil and reports on my channel already there is more coming so thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and share this video with others good luck